Hey Eden, where are we going today? We're gonna sail to Fort Lauderdale. Woo! Are you excited? Way. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> After weathering a good number of windstorms in the safe harbor of Stock Island Marina Village, it was time to say goodbye to our winter home in Key West to make the four-day sail to Fort Lauderdale, where our boat would undergo some much-needed refits. We met quite a few interesting people in Key West and made several friends along the way too. Leaving was bittersweet, yet exciting because we were all ready for the next step in our journey. As we left the marina, we thought about how far we had come since selling our home and taking ownership of the boat. We were about to embark on our first multi-day coastal cruise, a 165 nautical mile passage from Key West to Fort Lauderdale. While in Key West, we met a lot of sailors who strongly urged us to take along an experienced captain to help navigate the shallow waters that surround the Keys. So we asked our friend Larry to join us, as he knew the route well, having delivered numerous boats from the Keys to Fort Lauderdale. Starting in Key West, our route would take us up Hawk Channel to our first anchorage near Marathon. The next day, we would spend close to 10 hours on the water as we continued a northeast heading to our next anchorage outside of Key Largo. Then, on the third day, we would sail north to the cut at Angelfish Creek and enter Biscayne Bay where we would anchor for the night at Sands Key. And on our final day, we would navigate through the shallows of Biscayne Bay before heading into some rough open waters of the Atlantic to finally arrive at our destination of Port Everglades near Fort Lauderdale. As we eased into the first leg of our passage, we were blessed with really beautiful sunshine and perfect seas. The only problem was that the wind was on our nose, so we had to motor the entire first day. Since our autopilot was not functioning, it gave us a chance to practice our navigation, and we each took a watch at the helm. How are we doing, Rhonda? Doing great. Trying not to drive like I'm drunk. He's doing great. He's doing a good job. The Jedi Master has spoken. <laughs> we had planned several activities for Eden to break up her day, as you really can only expect a five-year-old to look for dolphins for so long. And, with the exception of a few hours of seasickness, she did remarkably well over our four-day passage. The long trip also gave Autumn a chance at the helm, and she did a really great job of keeping us on course. How are we doing? Good. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, it's nice. I like it. Yeah. After an amazing day of seeing rays jump out of the water 
and lots of dolphins joining our journey, we arrived at our first anchorage. It wasn't until we were about to drop anchor though that we experienced our first little issue. Our anchor chain, which was scheduled to be replaced, was rusted so badly that Mitchell had to dig deep into the anchor locker and break it loose as it had rusted itself together. After applying a little elbow grease, the chain was free to run and we were able to set the anchor in the soft sand of Boot Key. We woke the next morning to perfect weather with just a shower or two in the distance. We were just beginning to get settled into our beautiful morning on the water when suddenly our navigation equipment went out. So we're depending on you to get us all the way to Fort Lauderdale by hand. You got the math down? I hope so. <laughs> I don't know if you should depend on me <laughs> to, to take us to Fort Lauderdale. It's not a good idea. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it the old fashioned way. That's yep. good. Yep. Okay, so we lost our chart plotter, we lost our GPS, we think our antenna just went bad, and so we still have two and a half days to go, and so we're going to navigate kind of the old-fashioned way, and our navigator is going to be... Hi! I'm going to try to navigate on the map without technology. But who do we have? We have, we have Larry. Our, we have Larry. Larry's our Jedi Master. Our Obi Wan Captain. Our Obi Wan. Yes. Captain. Look, we're putting him to work right away. <laughs> Having our chart plotter go out was a blessing in disguise, and we would learn the valuable skill of dead reckoning. We put Autumn in charge of plotting our position on the charts by taking a fix every 15 minutes to keep us on course. It was actually quite fun to navigate this way, and Autumn caught on very quickly. It was just another great learning experience, and one we were happy to have with an experienced captain on board, especially one who was such a patient teacher. Another long day on the water, we dropped anchor at Rodriguez Key just off of Key Largo and enjoyed a gorgeous sunset before we turned in for the night. Thank you so much for watching and special thanks to our patrons for supporting our videos. Stay tuned for our next video as we encounter engine problems on the final two legs of our trip to Fort Lauderdale. Thanks again for coming along on our journey with us.